I was pleased with our team's performance this past week. I thought we played exceptionally hard. Uh, I thought they showed great poise, uh, great toughness, and we really executed very well in critical situations in, in, a, in a tough, hostile environment. I really believe that was the difference in the game. Uh, short yardage, goal line, third downs. Uh, our team did some good things. So uh, we're excited about that win, and uh, we're, we're excited to get back to work. It's very short-lived, and we'll have our hands full this week, and we're excited to be back home and, and playing a great Florida team. So we'll be excited and ready to go. Mark, Florida had several players that they suspended who missed the first two games and uh, not worried about whether they're going to play yet or not. How do you prepare for a situation like that? Yeah, I, I have no idea. I mean, we just prepare for what they've done on defense and on offense and, and what's on film and last year and a lot of things. So we'll just uh, prepare the best we can. Is it possible to get overhyped for a game like this against Florida? And, and how do you kind of yes. get that balance? With your guys? Definitely. And we'll, we'll talk about that and we'll address that. How do you ma manage sort of wanting them to get up for this game, but also, you know, because there's this streak to kill, but also not focus on the fact that you, you know, this program has lost 30 in a row to a program, not, not sort of dwell on the fact that it's, it's lingering? You know, honestly, you know, I, I haven't addressed that before. It's never been my approach. These guys haven't been here for 30 years. It, you know, so, you know, we'll see. I'll go with my gut, you know, on, 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 you know, how much we'll talk about that or if at all. Again, I generally don't ever talk about, like last week beating South Carolina, y'all asked me, but we don't talk about that, the fact that we've been, you know, a couple of years in a row. That doesn't matter. You know, every year's a new year. This is a new team. That's always been my approach. And uh, every week's a new week. So, you know, uh, I, I've never addressed it before. I know these guys hear it because, you know, the, the, the media and just, you know, social media and everything that's out there, there's so much information now. I mean, it's not like you can hide it, you know, so they know what's going on. But, uh, again, I have great confidence in our team that that won't affect us at all. If it, if it gives somebody a little bit of motivation, I hope it gives them motivation again on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I want to get motivation to prepare. If that does something for you, then good. When you're out in the community, how often have you heard, hey, beat Florida? How much of a sense do you have that this, I've what this it. matters to you? <laughs> I've heard a lot of things. <laughs> so, yeah. do, you, do you have a good sense for that, yeah. though, just how much this means to this fan base to, to end sort of what the thing starts to feel like a curse? I do. I do. I do feel the importance of it. And I've always accepted that, as I've accepted rivalries and um, you know the all the negative streaks that y'all are so good at telling me every week <laughs> and, uh, and all those things. And uh, you know, so but I, it, it's true. I mean, I take it personally. I do. I mean, I care. I care about our fan base. I do care about the history. Even if I wasn't here, I want to. I, I want to make you know our people uh, you know happy and supportive of our team and, and uh, you know past players and. You know all the tradition, the whole deal. I mean, so it's important, but you know that's what that's part of what motivates you every day. You can get up and do the best job you can. Mark, how much last year? Obviously, the loss down there was a pretty ugly loss. How much do you remind them of that, or do you just or you forget about? Well, we year? do the, we do watch that because that's that's very recent, and you can't make the same mistakes again. So uh, obviously, we'll have to watch a, a that game film, which. Uh, Again, should should be no problem with motivating us because we do not play very good. Uh, he, I think he's very talented. You know, very good arm talent. I really think he, he can throw the football. Um, I thought in the Michigan game they had some big plays there, and, and credit Michigan. I thought their defensive backs made some really good plays on the football that were some fantastic looking passes in, in down the field. So I think he's got a lot of arm talent. That was very evident with the last play that you all saw, <coughs> just the arm strength to be able to throw that football the way he did. And I'm sure that'll give him some confidence moving forward. But they, um, I think he's got a lot of talent. Mark, the Florida doesn't look to be as scary this year as they have in past years. Uh, have you sensed that amongst your players that they're really itching and chomping at the bit to get after them? I, you're crazy. I've watched, them, I've watched them play, and they're, they're, very, they're the same football team. They're a very, very good football team. Don't, don't, don't you 
put words in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, 